slide along a little bit there, slide along just as tight. Ready to roll? Thanks everyone. So, after a false start last week, how has the uh, Achilles come through training and everything this week? Yeah, it's been uh, managed really well this week, um, so feeling a lot better about my position physically and um, yeah, playing this weekend. You obviously had a different view of last week running from the from the sideline. Did you see anything in the Wallabies game that surprised you or that you hadn't seen in, in Wallabies teams uh, you've played before? Yeah, on the sideline you see a lot, um, just like you would have seen. Um, but usually we'd go into a game having seen a few games in the June series or whatever, so there's a bit of that unknown. Um, but what we did see was some pretty direct running, you know, off nine, and uh, Nick White also running with the ball in hand. So um, that's clearly a big threat of theirs, and obviously their backs like to play with ball in hand, uh, getting it to their wingers with, you know, space. So um, there weren't too many surprises, but they played a pretty um, efficient game, and um, yeah, we've got to figure out how we stop that. You guys didn't get a lot of ball last week, so but when you do have ball in hand, how can you and Richie best, I suppose, utilise that and, and put other guys into space to, to utilise that ball in hand? Yeah, well, that's the key, isn't it? Figuring out where that space is and um, how to use the ball because we can't survive off 40% possession and um, you know look to dominate a game and uh, in opposition. So uh, it's been a big focus of ours, looking after that ball, and I think it. Um, as a back unit, we all have to be responsible for that. Bowden, John Plumtree, um, uh, we said, I think it was, said that your Achilles is something that you've had to manage all year and you probably need a break to fully repair. Can you just speak to that process, what you've been going through and maybe what you need to fix it up? Um, yeah, so Plum said that. Uh, what the Achilles needs is um, it needs to be managed, so it needs to actually have time on feet. A break won't won't heal it, so it's about managing my load in a training week so that there's no spikes. Um, so yeah, it's feeling really good, and we've done that well this week. How long can you go on with that situation? They will try to manage it rather than you know, be like all the other guys. I had it uh, at the start of the World Cup, and by the end of the World Cup, it felt great. So um, it's about having a consistent plan um, under one. I guess medical team and trusting that plan and I'm fully uh, confident that they're going to get me where I need to be um, in a number of weeks and um, at the moment it's feeling good so can't wait. As it slows you down a bit, still haven't got top speed. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been able to do a speed session as such but um, like I said it's feeling great and um, I'm excited to get out there this weekend. Eden Park's your home ground, so will you be the lead-off goal for this weekend? That's a good question. We haven't spoken about it. Um, I'm guessing Geordie will take the tee again. Uh, he, you know, he kicked pretty well last week and has all year, so um, yeah, we'll figure that out in the next couple of days. Drop goals, you've been um, practicing them? Always. <laughs> 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 what, what, why is there a reluctance in your works to take a drop goal in the end? naturally go for a try, is that a mindset thing? Um, I guess it is a mindset thing, uh, it's not something, um, you know, we're always looking for the five pointer over the, the drop goal, I guess, but as a game awareness thing, we always have to be aware of that and I guess naturally you'd wait for that arm to go out and uh, roll the dice with either a you know a, an offensive play or a drop kick with a penalty advantage, but um, yeah, until that point we're thinking of playing for a penalty or playing for a try. Were you like so many of us watching the game thinking, take the bloody drop goal? <laughs> no, I wasn't actually. Yeah. No, I was I was um, liking what we were doing, and um, it's an easy fix to just slip back there and, and do it. And Richie was was thinking and doing that. So look. At the end of the day, we've got to pull the trigger, and I don't um, don't blame anyone for what we did. It was just the execution. Yeah, it is. Um, I mean, we know as much as you, and uh, it will be a shame. Um, but we can only control what we can control, and that is. Uh, we're excited about going to Aussie firstly. We know that we're going to have some Bledisloe footy over there. We're hopeful that Argentina are coming over, so um, 
yeah. Like I said, I don't know too much. Yeah, it has been um, a funny old year, and it, it feels like two years since I played a game for the All Blacks. So um, clearly excited about that this weekend, especially afternoon footy at Eden Park. It's hard to beat. What about being down and the Has it changed uh, your attitude or your outlook? Uh, like the way you're moving, or anything? Not at all, mate. <laughs> 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 Just waiting for my question. <laughs> oh. Oh. You can answer it. No, I it's, it's, uh, yeah. you get it. Oh, I'm loving fatherhood. Um, you know, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And uh, I've been managing time at home and, and time in the hotel. Getting that balance right is important this week because I certainly get a good kick out of going home and, and seeing little Billy. So, yeah, it's been good fun so far. Baden, I see it still didn't stop you getting your round of golfing yesterday. Yeah, well, I've actually only played four games in about 11 weeks, so it has suffered. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I wouldn't change that for anything. Yeah, the hit yesterday, go uh, back around, Yeah, we, um, I had 79. It wasn't my best round, but uh, it's just good to be playing golf again. Um, I was better than last week. Last week I was awful, but... How many under were you after three? Two. Yeah, I was two under three then. Then I went pear shaped. Out of bits. It's always nice to get out. We, you, we usually play together, so. Um, <laughs> we usually go all right, hey, Bess? We do. Damien, how much of an adjustment for you this week to that bench roll? You know, you haven't done that a lot this year, I guess. No, I haven't. It's, um, yeah, it's obviously for me to yeah, come off the bench and try and bring an impact wherever that is on the on the park. And yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's exciting wherever you, your name is, so I guess. Um, for me, it's about bringing energy off the bench and um, doing what I can, whether it's finishing off a game or trying to create something. So, yeah, it's going to be exciting to get out there. And like Bear said, hopefully it's a, it's a bit nicer this weekend than, than what it was last. How frustrating was it last week kind of being at the back there and kind of almost being start of the position or certainly the type of position you guys would prefer? Was it, was it tough for the back? Yeah, like we, we started well. We got some um, ball in hand a lot, probably in the first stanza, and then... Yeah, obviously later we probably didn't get as much as we liked, and yeah, obviously you want more more ball to attack with, and um, you know we've done things this week that hopefully we can create an opportunity and, and use the ball a bit more, but um, can't take credit away from how Aussie played. So um, we've had a good week in prepping and one more training today to get things right. Both played all year with Caleb Clark. Uh, how do you think he's going to go and start him off? Well, he's. Um I've been so impressed with how he's developed this year. Um, coming from a fair bit of sevens and transitioning into you know, starting every game for the Blues on the left. So uh, he's so excited to, uh, to play with. He can run over, around. He can also kick the ball. So he's a triple threat for me. And I just love how energetic and how comfortable he is to be himself in this environment because he is a, he is a fun personality and a, a great kid to have in camp. Bowden, I know you guys are all about processes, but as a senior guy in this group, how kind of important is it to make a bit of a statement this week around the All Blacks, around the way you play, and around kind of stamping your own mark on it, on the game? Yeah, I think it is important. It's, um, you know, we take a lot of personal pride in how we prepare and how we uh, perform on the weekend. Um, you know, we never want to let the All Black jersey down, and um, especially ourselves down. So I think it starts with just nailing our own roles. Um, that's all we can control, and uh, there's no doubt that we want to bounce back after after last week. That's about us. Thanks, everyone. Cool. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.